All right, how's it going guys? So today I'm back out here at the trails course in Anderson, South Carolina. And today I'm gonna to be doing a safari round. If you don't know what a safari round is, basically that means that I'm gonna be throwing from a certain tee, but to a different basket. So for instance, I'm gonna start here on hole one, teeing off from hole one's tee, but I'm gonna be playing to hole two's basket. So I'll be sure to explain each hole as I get to it. Uh, I'm gonna play nine holes out here, so I've never done this before on this course, so we'll see how it goes today. But without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm here on hole one's tee pad. Normally, hole one goes through this gap straight ahead and bends to the left, uh, but today I'm gonna be playing it to hole two's basket, so I'm gonna go through that gap with a sidearm, and hole two's basket is straight through all that. So the idea is to lay up close to where hole two's tee pad is, and then hopefully have a pretty clean up shot to get up there for a putt. All right guys, so we're on to the second safari hole. I'm here on hole three's tee pad. I don't know if I mentioned this before, I can't remember, but I'm gonna play all these as par fours. I think I might have one par three, but anyway, this is hole three's tee pad. I'm gonna be playing to hole four's basket, which goes down this gap and up to the right. Uh, normally hole three plays straight with a little fade. I'm gonna try to go sidearm to finish up by hole four's tee pad and uh, hopefully have a putt at it. Hopefully that'll be pretty good. As you can tell, I'm on hole four's tee pad. There's my disc and the basket. I don't know if you can see it. That orange band straight through there. So setting myself up good. Just gotta execute the shot. I'm gonna try not to slide down this hill. It rained yesterday, so it's a little sloppy. Another par. All right, safari so hole number three. I'm on hole five's tee pad. You can see the basket for hole five right there. It's a big sidearm or backhand turnover. I'm gonna be playing to hole three's basket, which I don't think I can see it from here. Maybe you can see it peeking through there. Um, really just trying to go out into hole three's fairway, get myself another look at a pretty easy second shot if I can get clean off the tee, but there's the creek that runs behind the basket OB, so I just gotta be careful with that. And go stand still because these tee pads are slick and it's really muddy out here. Hopefully that sat down. All 
All right, guys, calling a little bit of an audible here. I was gonna play from hole sixes tee to sevens basket, but I'm actually gonna uh, play a little more challenging layout. I'm gonna go from hole sixes tee all the way to eights basket and play this as a par five. So uh, essentially it's just gonna S all the way through these trees. I'm not even gonna try to point it out because it's just a little too confusing, but basically just gonna try to go from to sevens tee pad to eights tee pad and hopefully uh, get up there for a birdie putt. So see how it goes. I thought I had it all the way up to the basket, but I heard a light tree. All right, so this is one I'm really excited about. This is normally hole nine's tee pad. Uh, hole nine is usually right down there on the left, but I'm gonna be playing to 10's basket which is on the other side of the soccer field. These trees over here with this tree line, um, the basket sits on the other side of that. So you gotta get really far over to the right, but i um, gonna play this as a par four. This is probably more of a in between par three and par four, but we'll see what we can do with it. Another birdie. Right now I'm on um, hole 11's tee pad, which you can see the basket right there. This normally plays as an island hole. I'm gonna go to hole 12's basket, which goes down and to the left, and then it goes straight up uh, alongside the creek over there, which plays out of bounds. So I'm gonna have to throw something that finishes to the left without going too long into the creek, and then um, try to play it as I would normally on hole 12. All right, guys, so I just played the sixth safari hole. I'm here on the seventh one. I'm on hole 13, uh, tee pad, and I'm actually gonna be going back to 11's basket, which was on the island. It's not that one directly in front of you, but it's actually just a little bit behind it. I don't think the camera's picking it up. So basically just a long position uh, to this pin. So this will be a par three. That last one, maybe I could get down there for a long putt with a flex sidearm, but still think it plays more as a par so I'm going to count the last one as a birdie.
All right, guys, so now I'm on to hole 15's tee pad. I'm gonna be playing the hole 16's basket. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to land, go through this gap, land at the bottom of the hill, and hole 16 is a straight dog leg uh, to the left, and the basket finishes up on the right, so I'm gonna have to have something pretty slow, make sure it gets over to the left without going into the creek, and then uh, hopefully have a forehand upshot on my second shot. All right, guys, on to the final hole. Um, this is hole 17's tee pad. The basket for 17 is straight ahead, um, but playing to hole 18's basket. So I'm actually gonna go to the left and then the basket bends back up hard right. So essentially the basket is straight ahead through all those woods, which obviously you gotta go around them. So just gonna try to lay something up, hopefully close to 18's tee pad and then hopefully pitch up and get a birdie. Lucky shot. All right, guys, so I decided to wrap this one up. Uh, inside the truck because the sun is going down and uh, the temperature dropped pretty significantly so uh, it's getting pretty cold outside but uh, this was a ton of fun uh, i've never done this uh, at this particular course and so uh, i think i would definitely play some of the holes a lot differently than i did so uh, if you play this course quite often and maybe you've done something like this don't don't beat me up too bad um, but this was a ton of fun i will say the only thing i did not like about today was that it did rain the past couple days, so the course was very uh, muddy, and especially on the, the hillsides, um, just tons of mud would get on my shoes, and uh, the tee pads were not in great condition today, but that's just part of it. Um, still, it was a ton of fun. I would like to shoot a little bit better, so I'm definitely going to come back out here and play this layout again, and now that I know kind of where the landing zones are, what disc I need to throw, um, I think I can shoot a lot better, but if you're in this area and you play this course quite often, uh, make sure to comment down below. Let me know, uh, how you've played it before, um, what you would do a little bit different than I did, or if you like what I did, let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear from you, but, um, going to have some stuff hopefully coming out here in the next few months. I got some tournaments coming up, so I definitely need to get some practice in, but I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next one.